welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello i'm veronica and this is my channel for my horsey adventures i would very much appreciate it if you clicked on the subscribe button also the notification bell and you will get notified whenever i post a video i would also be really happy if you followed me on instagram and yeah when I reach 1,010 subscribers, I have a giveaway going on, which is linked down below. And when I reach that amount of subscribers on YouTube, I will do the announcement of the winner. So enter on the video, which is linked down below. Yeah, I haven't been on YouTube. Well, I haven't been on YouTube in two weeks. So yeah, uh, the reason is that I haven't had the confidence of vlogging right now at the barn there has been some changes and some things that i needed to get my head around um uh, so i haven't been like confident in, confident enough to walk around with a camera and talk english in a norwegian barn because norwegian is my first language and sometimes you get weird looks when you talk english when you are norwegian yeah anyway and there has been some new people coming and i had to get my head around some of it so yeah um so i had to get my head around that and yeah hopefully my confidence is back up for vlogging because in a way i miss vlogging so yeah and also i have started work again so i work 100 percent. so i work every day monday to friday so now i go on monday on wednesday when i go to the barn it's a little later on the day uh, than before so i'm there after work which is everyone else as well so i don't have the wednesdays for myself at the barn anymore which made it very easy for me to vlog because most day i was all alone or the people who were there know that i'm a bit weird <laughs> yeah so that is why i haven't had a barn vlog up for a stable vlog up for two weeks so i'm sorry about that but Seriously, I'm getting my head around things now and I'm trying to get more confident on the matter of vlogging in another language. Um, apart from that, I've had some good rides on Raiwan and he's been great. I really do love this horse. So, yeah. But now I do have a tackle for you guys, which is not often. It's not that a lot of items, but I thought that I would show you guys it. First of all, I did buy some... Uh, tack cleaning supplies but i already bought brought them to the barn uh, i was actually playing and doing some tack cleaning yesterday but um ended up with cuddling around a bit longer than i thought so i had to reach my bus home so i didn't get any tack cleaned hopefully i will get some tack cleaned tomorrow because i'm having him an extra day tomorrow with his owner so yeah um so yeah so i have a few so i will show you guys the tack uh, cleaning products when hopefully i will make a video about it who knows but yeah so i thought that i would just show you guys the items that i have because i'm very excited about these items and yeah first of all uh mia from amber equestrian she had a giveaway going on on youtube and instagram i will put her instagram up here in her youtube yeah uh she had a giveaway for her birthday which was very generous of her i was so lucky to win the instagram part of the giveaway and i got this gorgeous bra band which is in dark brown i don't have a dark brown uh bridle yet but maybe in the future when i get the dark brown um bridle sorry my english is not with me today i will attach it because it's really nice i don't think i maybe it will go away with being on a brown bridal no black bridal i don't know but anyway it's from fairfield it's really beautiful and yeah it's in size full so it will fit Owen's sort of big head but yeah uh i really like it he looks good in gold as well so either i have to get a new bridal now or it probably we get away with putting it on a black bridal because it's so dark brown so gorgeous and i'm so happy about it and i also got i always wanted a white saddle pad but i never got around for buying one because i don't show yet 
But no, I don't need to because I won one. She also had this saddle pad in her giveaway. This is a white saddle pad. It's an all-purpose one from Hall with a set. It has this navy blue trim on it and it has the billet strap and the strap from the girth here. So you guys, I have a white saddle pad, so now I have no excuse of not getting into shows, right? So it will fit uh, the saddle of that one very well, I think, because it's kind of big for an all-purpose saddle pad. So it's more like the dressage version of it, I feel. So you guys, I have a white saddle pad in my collection. I'm so happy about it. So thank you, Mia, for hosting the giveaway, and I'm so happy I won. Um... I also have to say goodbye to my riding tights. My two favorite pairs of riding tights ripped. One pair I've had for around five years and the other one I've had for one and a half years. And both of them has been in the wash a thousand times. The one I had for one and a half years I think has been in the wash even more than the ones I had, I've had for five years. Uh, they have been such good quality and I really love them, but I was so sad when they ripped. Um, so I've been in the lookout for new riding tights and finding a riding tights when you are a little bit on the bigger side is not easy because most of the equestrian brands always advertise with skinny pretty models and none of the actually beautiful plus size riders. So yeah it's been a struggle and this company uh i've been eyeing out for a while i've been really wanting to actually try the writing tights and just order from them but i've been so scared to do it online because when you order online from outside of the country and norway having these very expensive customer fees um I've been skeptical because if you have to send them back and receive a new one, it's been like, yeah, you know the struggle. And they have also been a company that has always advertised with very skinny models. Uh, it has changed lately, so there are a little bit curvier models on their side now, which is make, makes me very happy because we are not, none of us are the same size, even though, yeah. And there has been a lot of hype on these riding ties, leggings, or what you call them. And I thought that, yeah, because I have lost some weight, I haven't been like totally in for losing this weight. But since I've been in more activity um, right now, and yeah, it has just come off. Um, I will talk about this in another video if you want me to, but I have a chronic illness which is called arthritis and I'm very, very, very uh, bothered by it and the medication makes me put on weight and it's hard to lose it again. So yeah, I will talk about all that in another video if you want me to comment down below. But anyway, so I thought that since I've been losing a little bit of weight now, I will take the chance of ordering from this company and it's Aztec Diamond I think they have so many pretty uh, outfits and I've been really eyeing this uh, company as I said and no criticism but it is sometimes demotivating when they always have these very pretty skinny models having their clothes on um, that is why I actually love Maya Dolores because they have models in every size anyway Aztec Diamond. They came in on Thursday last week, so it's a week ago. I wore these on Monday and I'm so happy with them. I mean, come on. It's the black tights, uh, leggings, uh, with the Aztec Diamond on the hip here, the logo. They have Aztec Diamond written on the waistband, which is very stretchy. I could have down, sized down actually, I bought it in large, I think I could have gotten away with the medium, I'm not sure, but let's stick to large from right now. Um, yeah, it has a phone pocket, which was one thing that sold me with these writing dice, they had a phone pocket. It says Aztec Diamond on it, it's very deep, I can fit my whole hand in it, 
and they have this fancy little detail about that pocket because inside the pocket it has like these two silicone lines no it's one silicone two silicone lines inside the pocket that really makes your phone stick in the pocket when you ride so i'm very pleased with that they are stretchy and they have good material it has the knee grip with Aztec diamond written in it and the silicone details here on the knee grip i'm not a very fan of knee grip uh, i do love my full seat but which has on my the maya dolores uh riding leggings they have options if you just want knee grip or the full seat grip uh but i thought that i would give Aztec diamond a chance right now because they are a little bit in the price range that i was in right now yeah so um i'm very pleased with them i don't regret buying Aztec diamonds riding tights i'm very curious to see how they turn out after the first wash if they have the same quality as the other riding leggings that i have i have had if they do stick the uh, wash test, I will definitely buy some more Aztec Diamond in more colors. And I think I will recommend them to Ingrid as well as the Young Rider. So thank you Aztec Diamond for making leggings that actually fits me. Um, even though you have always advertised with skinnier models, I see you have curvier models right now and I'm so happy about that and that it fits us curvy riders a little bit more as well so i'm very pleased with it so thank you one other company that i have never wanted to buy anything from because i thought that the clothes would never ever fit me is ps of sweden now i see they have released a range with plus size riding wear very happy about that but i'm down from those sizes and i've never been up in those sizes so they will not fit me because they will be too big but then when they actually uh released this plus size right wear i was like yes finally and then i thought if that is the plus wear then what is actually their normal wear because they have also been advertising with all the gorgeous skinny models and not some of the curvy gorgeous models so i'm like mm, i don't want to buy from this company because i think they have small sizes but when i saw the size range in the plus size riders i thought that okay maybe their normal sizes are will fit me so i ordered again like being online ordering and from out of seas to norway <coughs> i'm sorry uh I just went on with it. So I ordered a base layer. It's from the light blue uh, color. And yeah, it's the light blue color. And it's from the spring collection 2001, I think. Yeah. It's a uh, very, very, very silky, like very breathable material and stretchy material. So I actually think I could have sized down on this one. It has a piece of Sweden on the collar behind here. It has this gorgeous little zipper with a little diamante. And what I just realized is that I thought that down on the sleeve it said piece of Sweden, but it doesn't. It says turn pain into power, which is so cute. Turn pain into power. Which is what I do every day, honestly, <laughs> because I'm constantly in pain because of my joints. So this was just, this was just me. I mean, seriously, I love this color and I'm so, so, so happy with it. And yeah. And the reason why I really, really wanted this one is that I wanted something light blue. So I actually decided to buy this this is from marks and spencer also from out of seas but anyway it costed like nothing this light blue thing here but it wouldn't match this one because you guys i got a piece of sweden light blue from the piece of sweden spring launch ruffle edition 
with a little bit of a darker blue like velvet uh, lining here and the ruffles which goes all the way up to here the little piece of Sweden logo thing here I mean isn't this the most beautiful saddlepad ever and of course I want something to match it here it says dream it think it write it piece of Sweden has the squishy material in here the breathable material and yeah I'm so happy about it yeah isn't this the most gorgeous thing you have ever seen so of course I needed something to match it with yay so I'm all set I'm very pleased with this so yeah it is the perfect piece of Sweden saddle pad and Ren looks gorgeous in it you have seen it in a video before where I actually had a sweater that matches but that's an everyday sweater and i didn't want to bring that to the barn so it hurts me when i had to bring it to the barn but anyway yeah so that's everything i got for this haul today and i hope you enjoy it and i promise you guys i will be back with stable vlogs and tomorrow i am going with Ingvild to the barn and we are going to put on Ren's cart and we're going to, for a solo drive with him which is exciting he's so funny in front of the carriage so yeah i will vlog from that well i will try to vlog from that and i will also do a tack cleaning video and show the tack cleaning products that i got so yeah uh, until next video take care and I hope you are seeing you on my next video and to everyone who has commented, liked and everything up till now. You guys are the best. So thank you so much. Bye.